Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. Um, there's a few results going against the odds this week, uh, this minute week. There's a lot to talk about, so guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, League 4 my merch, down in the description below. So guys, feel free to check it out after watching this video. But let's get this video underway, guys. You know what to do. You know what I'll do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Cambridge versus Bradford. Um, Cambridge beating Scunfort 2-0 away from home. Great three points for Cambridge there. Um, Bradford beating Stevenage 3-1 at home. Great three points for Bradford as well. Um, Cambridge are currently on 41 points with 10 points at the last 5 games. Bradford are a little bit uh, less confident from the last 5 games, only picking up 5 points from the last 5 games. Um, this game could be a table changing game, there's 10 points between the two clubs. Um, goal difference is marginally different as well, um, Bradford are on 7 um, Cambridge on minus 7, so you could say minus 14 um, on the goal difference. But that goal difference only really comes into the league, you know, at the end of the season. And But I think there's enough points there for both clubs for them not to go down. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to call it a bit of a shock. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Cambridge win, just because of that confidence. Um, my next one is Cheltenham Town versus Lake Norian. Um, Cheltenham Town beating Carlisle United 1-0 away from home. Lake Norian beating Mansfield 2-1 at, uh, at home. Um, great three points for Lake Norian. Puts them on 38 points. That gives them 10 points at their last five games as well. So they're on a bit of a confidence um, spell at the minute. Um, Cheltenham only got f 7 points at their last 5 games, a um, eh, bit tricky, um, that win was much needed by Cheltenham, I think because of that Cheltenham just got edged this game and I'll go for a 1-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Crawley versus Carlisle, um, Carlisle loses 2-0 at uh, sorry, losing 1-0 at home to Cheltenham Town. Crawley Town losing 2-1 away from home to Crew. Um, right Crew winner came the 90th minute for uh, Crew. Um, I'm not quite sure how to sum that up, but what you Crawley fans have been telling me, I probably won't be too down hearted with that. Crew are currently in second place, picking up an amazing 13 points from the last five games. But anyway, back to these two teams. Um, as I said, Crawley losing 2-1. Um, Carlisle losing 1-0. This game, um, Carlisle have currently picked up eight points from the last five. Crawley have picked up yeah, same amount of points, 8 points from the last 5. I reckon Crawley just going to about edge this game. And I go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Morecambe. Um, Grimsby Town beating Colchester 3-2 away from home. Big 3 points for uh, Grimsby there. Morecambe beating Macclesfield 2-0 at home. Uh, big three points for Morecambe. Morecambe have currently got 30 points. Um, that just this from outside the relegation zone. Um, Morecambe have currently got eight points from their last five games. Grinsby, on the other hand, have got eight points from their last five games, currently set them on 38 points. So this can't be a table changing game, but I think this game is going to be a draw and I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. 
My next one is Macclesfield versus Exeter. Uh, Macclesfield, just as you mentioned, um, losing 2 0 away from home to Morecambe. Um, Exeter beating Old Man Athletic 5 1 at home. Um, great point for uh, great day for us. Great day for Exeter today. Um, Macclesfield, Aussie, we know they're aggro there in. Um, I really do hope that they can come to some agree agreement with the EFL. Um, the next thing we don't all want to see is another club be expelled from the EFL. Um, but I still think the EFL have got to play their part and try to save uh, small town clubs like these clubs here. Um, most clubs are in the red anyway, um, even in the big leagues, but you know, this is really the grassroots of professional football. I know we've got a conference, but you know what I mean, this is the real, you know, could be your first full-time contract for these clubs. I think the EFL needs to sort something out quickly and try and help small town clubs. Um, anyway, back to the game. Um, Macclesfield, as I said, 29 points. I only picked up four points from their last five. Exeter picking up seven points from their last five. Um, I'm going to go for an Exeter City win, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Exeter City win. My next one is Mansfield versus Newport. Um, Mansfield loses 2-1 away to Lake Norian. Um, this point day for Mansfield, Newport County drawing 0-0 at home to Walsall. Um, Mansfield coming on 32 points. Um, only picking up 5 points from the last 5 games and only uh, 3 points outside the relegation zone. Um, Newport currently sitting in 13th place, only picking up 4 points from their last 5 games and they have not won a game in 3. Um, I'm going to go for a very nitty, very gritty 0 nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Oldham Athletic versus Forest Green Rovers. Um, Forest Green Rovers losing 3 2 at home to Port Vale. Forest Green are very disappointing at this minute in time. Um, Oldham Athletic losing 5 1 away from home to Exeter. This is a good chance for Old to get back on winning ways. Um, let's just go over to the form table. Forest Green have only picked up one point in their last five games, uh, not one in five. Oldham Athletic picking up seven points from their last five games. I think Oldham will go win this one, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Crew Alexander. Um, Plymouth, on one hand, you know, beating Sulphur City 3 2 away from home. Great support by Plymouth going all the way out there. I've seen the pictures on social media. Fair play to you. Um, you know, but a great result to come back with all the way down to the south coast. Um, Crew beating Crawley 2 1 at home. This game's going to be a quite a tight one. You've got Plymouth on 57 points, currently sitting in third, with 10 points out of the last five games. Crew have got slightly better uh, points out of the last five games, picking up 13. But I think this is going to be a draw. I think it's going to be a great game to go and watch. And I'll go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Port Vale versus Colchester. Colchester losing 3 2 at home to Grimsby. Um, Port Vale beating Forest Green Rovers 3 2 away from home. Great three points for Port Vale. Um, this point of day for Colchester. Um, Colchester currently sitting in 5th place with 52 points, only picking up 7 points from their last 5 games. 
Paul Fowler doing slightly better with 10 points out of the last 5 games, currently still on 51 points. Uh, results go they, their way this weekend, Paul Fowler can find themselves in the playoffs. Um, I think Paul Fowler might just edge this game, and I'll go for a 2-1 Paul Fowler win for that one. My next one is Stevenage versus Salford City. Um, Salford City losing 3 2 at home to Plymouth Argyle. Um, I'm trying to sum that up on a, you know, a um, Salford City perspective. Uh, we all know who owns Salford City, but I've said it once, I'll say it again. It, you know, the players got to go over played football. Um, Stephen Edgley is a 3 1 away from home to Bradford. I'm going to go for a Sulphur City win. Let's just go over the form table quickly. Um, Salford have picked up six points from their last five games. Stevenage are, you know, no points in their last five games. I'm going to go for a Sulphur City win, just like I said. And I'm going to go for a 3 0 Sulphur City win. My next one is Swindon Town versus Scunthorpe. Scunthorpe losing 2 0 at home to Cambridge. Swindon Town beat Northampton Town 1 0 away from home. A big three points that could be for Swindon Town coming the end of the season. Um, I think it's vital they got that win as well after Crew um, beat Crawley. Um, but, you know, as I said, big three points for Swindon Town. Um, go over to the form table quickly. Uh, Scunthorpe finally picked up four points from their last five games. Swindon Town done a bit better, picked up ten points from their last five games. I think this game, Swindon have got to win it. It's not a fact do I think they're going to win it. I think they've got to. But do I back them to, to do it? I don't. I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Northampton Town. Uh, Northampton Town losing 1 0 away, uh, sorry, 1 0 at home to Swindon Town. Walsall drawing 0 0 away to Newport. Um, Walsall picking up four points from their last five games, currently sitting in 15th. Northampton Town picking up seven points from their last five games, currently sitting in 6th with 52 points. I think uh, Northampton Town go. I want to get back on winning wage for this one, and I'm going to predict him to do that, and I'll go for a 2 0 Northampton Town win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do to a big crap, I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.